Okay, so I just want to do a really quick video. Um, I have attempted to grow lavender before in the past. I've wasted money on seeds. I have researched videos on how to grow lavender seeds. And I know they're temperamental. You need to freeze them. You need to uh, wait for them to stratify and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, have them in the freezer for, you know, three to six months, whatever it is. I can't remember the information. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you this. I was at the Dollar Tree the other day. And I saw some lavender seeds and I was like, eh, I'm going to test, test out this um, germination thing that I, uh, this pre-germination thing that I've been doing that's really been working very, very well. And I figured, why not attempt to try it on some lavender seeds and see if it works? Because, you know, lavender don't like moist environment and blah, blah, blah. And look at this. Look at this. I already have them germinating in here. And I want to give you a tip for what I did. I did not freeze any seeds. I took them, set them in a little bowl with water. Because usually they're like dark brown seeds. And this is the one that I purchased from um, the Dollar Tree. They were selling this and I was like, you know what? Let me just give it a try and see what happens with this new method I've been testing. And look, how exciting is that? Hmm? All right, so all I did was take the seeds, a cup of water, no, nothing special. Anyway, so what I do is I take this and I just put it in the water and I wait to see if it looks like the seeds are swelling up a little bit and if the color lightens up just a little bit. And honestly, I think I left it in there for about five days. It took a minute for this to swell up. And then after that, I placed it on top of the soil. After that, I just placed it on top of the soil and then I tapped it down with my finger and then I went ahead and placed the plastic bag on top of this um, so it can help create condensation and help it germinate. Um, now I do have to say I also placed it on top of my heating pad that I got from Amazon down here. Um, I like to use this to help get things started um, and you see all the, the condensation that's in there. So my goal is to not water it often and to keep the seed moist and to help it germinate. And it worked and that was on January 24th and today is February 2nd. I just wanted to show here, it says days to germinate, 10 to 28 days, um, depth to sow one eighth, one eighth of an inch. And it goes to show you, I didn't even do any of that. Um, I just placed it on top of the soil and pressed it down with my finger and that was it. That was what, uh, probably a week? if that so a little over a week yeah like maybe like um eight nine days so i am so excited that this method worked now i'm finna try to grow some more and then put them outside once it gets warmer since they like you know warm weather so but i just want to give somebody out there hope who has been trying to do all this fancy stuff when it comes to growing lavender it goes to show you you don't have to do any of that all right, so you don't have to get a germination pad. That's just something that I wanted because I've been growing for about the past three years and I just really want to invest, start investing a little bit more in what I'm doing. You know, things that make sense. I don't want to have to go out the pocket or out the way, but something like a germination pad, that's basic. Like everybody needs something like that just to help jumpstart the seeds. Um, so I'm all for it. I'm doing the whole pre-germination thing again i just put it in the cap i'm have this poblano um peppers seeds soaking in here so yeah so the, it's simple i just leave it in here for a couple of days but like i said with the lavender i left it in there longer because i didn't notice the swelling now i just wanted to say this After everything I have been through with trying to grow plants in general, but more specifically with lavender seeds, if any of you have tried to grow something and you just had like crazy, you know, like difficulty growing it, no matter what you did, you know, you go out and purchase multiple seed packets time after time and still nothing happens. You try to amend the soil, nothing happens. You try watering the plant, nothing happens. You try keeping it dry because it likes dry environment, nothing happens. You try to watch all these YouTube videos and try their tips and still nothing happens. 
And I want to say this is so similar to life. You know, things are going to happen. You're going to be trying to do this, trying to do that, trying to do this. And it's just going to seem like nothing you do works. Even though, you know, you're you're doing your best, you're putting in the effort, you're doing your best to learn everything you can, but here it is, or, you know, to try to, you know, change your situation, but here it is, things aren't changing. And sometimes we just need to like, just slow down. Sometimes we need to take a break from things. Sometimes we need to rest. And even I had to do that last year in 2020, I took a break from growing until after September because I needed to rest because I'm a do a kind of person that just wants to do, 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 keep moving, 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 moving. And sometimes we just got to take a break and look at that. I decided to start back learning how to grow stuff and this pre-germination thing came up and guess what? I decided, hey, I saw these seeds at the Dollar Tree. Let me try again and see what happens. Try a different method. Don't keep buying more packets thinking, well, you know, hey, it might be the seeds and hey, it could have been. But that was like three, four packets later. How many more seeds can be wrong? that wrong? You know what I mean? So sometimes we just need to sit back. And I just feel like growing really is just a representation of where we are in our walk with the Lord. Sometimes the things we're trying to do looks good. And it seems good, but it doesn't mean we should be attempting to do those things in our life. And sometimes it's just waiting for the right season. It's waiting for the right mindset. Is waiting for the right um, spiritual growth in your life before it will it start to grow. You know, be patient. And if it's not working, ask the Lord, "Hey, what am I not doing right? Show me what to do." And I mean, honestly, that's why I had to do with my plants that you see here. I had to try something different. I had to try this, you know, this bag method. It just came to my mind. I know it's the Holy Spirit. You know, I didn't see this anywhere else. And I was like, you know what? Let me try something different and pray about it. Because I'm praying with these plants to grow in with all this fighting of these fungus gnats and all these things. That's another reason why I did this. I wanted to create the condensation and block out the fungus gnats. And then lo and behold, it actually has been helping to grow these plants. Go figure. Anyway, that's, that's it. I just want to encourage somebody out there who might be feeling like everything you've been trying to do is like nothing has been working, nothing has been falling in place. Sometimes you just got to take a couple of steps back, ask the Lord, is this something I should be doing? And Lord, if I'm doing something wrong, please give me the wisdom and understanding to know how to do it right. I know that might sound special to some of you, but I'm just sharing what has been working for me and how the Lord has just been teaching me about patience and just waiting. Cause that's what this is. It's a waiting game. It's a patience, it's a patience game. Is it a, did you have the right seed game? Is it, you know, the conditions Were the conditions right with having, you know, the right things in place. So patience, seek out the Lord. Don't stress yourself out to the point where, you know, you're starting to lose hope and give up. seek out the Lord if you're not sure about the Lord just ask him ask him to show you not for him to prove himself to you but ask him to show you that he's real and look for what starts to show up anyway thanks for watching I'll talk to y'all soon bye